Okay, looks like I'm white. Go ahead into the, the facing three fours. I've been liking that one. Okay, so he approaches. Can't really develop this side because this one's facing this way. So I kind of like the idea of uh, playing on this side and trying to like break up his uh, area. Yep, he can pincer. So I can go into the corner. I can counter pincer. Or I can jump out. I like the idea of jumping out. His corner is not that big. Developing up here seems kind of hard. Just reducing his uh, framework here seems good enough. He could fight back, but I'm not too worried. And I think this is not really considered Joseki anymore. I think it's considered good for black, but I think in this position, I just really like it for white. Don't remember seeing the kick before, but I'll go ahead and connect. It feels like it helps fix some of my weaknesses. And then the corner is still open. And now he has to jump out, because um, if I turn here, this looks like it could be in trouble. Okay, so he haunts because he wants to protect the corner. So I can connect here, and then he jumps. I could also turn here, he captures the single stone. But I reduce this and have some Aji over here. Hmm, hard to say, because if I go here, he can still push through. And if I go here and he captures, I probably have to block. Yeah, I don't know. I think both would be okay. Well, if I go here, he just jumps. I don't really get much. So I think I'm okay if he just connects under here and I reduce all of his points. And he doesn't really get any points by connecting under. But now he kind of has to connect because if he doesn't, these die. It seems like he's trying to fight back a bit, but eventually he has to go back and connect. If he cuts, I extend. There are some potential weaknesses here. I don't think I'll ever play here because this is pretty strong, so he probably will just pincer. If I run out, then he kind of splits and I have two weak groups. So I think I'm going to press down here like this to try and make this stronger and get some center potential. And I'm only giving him few points to do so, so it should be okay. Okay, he pincers. Yeah, I'm pretty happy just taking points here. Although, maybe I shouldn't have played this one. If he attaches here, he can't really do anything over here. But he didn't play this one, he played this one, so I'm going to go ahead and close my corner. I'd like to play the small one. It has less weaknesses, but if I play the small one, he can make a two-space extension here. I don't like him doing that, although this push is starting to feel big, but it's not that big because black can kind of just push here. Although I could push through and start a fight, and there's still some weaknesses here. Um, so I'm not quite sure why he split here. Like This feels like the smallest area, and this is two spaces, so it's not really threatening my corner. Um, if he pushes, he could have just kind of got this anyway. But the bottom side feels like the biggest area. I have the enclosure now, and it's facing this direction. And I can also approach all the way because there's still some Achi in the corner, and I'm quite strong over here. So he could jump in, but it feels like it, his corner will get damaged. And jumping in, I can also still fight. Yeah, I can just counter pincer. He attaches. So I could Hane, he goes here. I have to come back and connect. Feels a bit over concentrated, and I lose Sente, and he can play over here first. So I think I'll back off. Because now, if he fixes, I jump out. I could also Kasumi to prevent him from connecting under, which seems like it might be a good idea. Because now this group is very heavy, and if he has no way to connect, then he's forced to run out. This time, I'll Hane. It's when I go here, here, my corner is now pretty safe, and he still has some peeps and stuff he has to worry about. So he goes here because he wants to protect his corner, but he kind of left this one very weak. So I kind of want to play here because he didn't. And now he has to run out, and then when he runs out, I run out. I don't think he can fight back. And I can do two spaces or one space. Two spaces, I have some more cutting points I have to worry about. One space, he can try and like surround me. So I kind of like two spaces, because I don't think he can cut me cleanly. Like he'll lose something. Okay, he peeps and jumps, okay. So I think it feels like he's still trying to attack this, but I'm out to the center, so I'm not that worried about it. So 
I kind of like the idea of playing something over here to get a base for this group. I can attach or just play here. I kind of like attaching because I can maybe get Sente with it. And I don't think he can really fight back. It feels like he's just, uh, he's very thin where I can just push through and cut. So yeah, he has to play here and then probably this one. And then there's still some Aji here I can try and mess with later. I kind of want to attack this, but I'm not really seeing a good way to do it. Like if I just shoulder hit here and jump, he runs out, I have to run out, he runs, I run. And it feels like I didn't really get anything with this move. If I try to invade here, he just plays on top. I go down, he connects, I go here. Again, I take away some points, but this is not that big anyway. So now I think playing up here is probably the biggest area. So I'm cutting off this stone, reducing some points. He could try and cut, but it doesn't seem that threatening because I can pretty much live here with this. I can run out to the center. And this move is helping me because I had to worry about this cut. But now this is helping me fix the cut. And it doesn't really seem like it attacks this at all. So I can just jump out. Keeps trying to attack. Not sure. I think I'll push here and then extend to try and help fix my uh, cutting issues and also get out at the same time. And attach. So if I go here, he goes here, and then I kind of have to jump again. With this one, if he pushes through, he has some Aji he has to worry about. Okay, so that makes it even better for me. He does get some more potential over here, but I can still shoulder hit or jump in this way. I think I'm pretty strong here. I could spend another move here to um, connect, which I might do that. It does seem safe. Yeah, we'll do that. Just keep everything connected. And after that, I just kind of have to reduce and should be okay. And then he still has some weaknesses over here. He has to worry about at some point. And I will block. Keep this one separated because then I can try and attack this while reducing this area. Probably won't be able to kill it, but it has some uh, weaknesses. Okay, so we'll peep here. Because we want to try and keep it as weak as possible. And maybe we can get a few extra points here. Or if he does something like this and we block, we get some end game. Okay, and then I'll shoulder hit. I don't know, this doesn't feel like a good way for him to play. I thought he would just, uh, just jump out. Because if he's not careful, this could get into some trouble. And at the very least, I'll get end game now. So I could try and be aggressive and play here. And if he captures, I extend. And then he only has one eye. Um, if I extend here and he goes here, I can peep and peep. I'm not sure which is better. We'll go with this one. And then just extend. I think we're strong enough here that we don't have to worry about him doing anything with the cuts. And I probably wasn't going to make any points here anyway. So yeah, it feels like he has to add another move here. And even after this, he has to do something like this. I can block Hane's, or he can do this one, but I still have this attach. So it feels like he still has to connect. And now later I have uh, endgame over here. I'm not sure what to do. I kind of like trying to split this off, but I'm not sure if I see a good way. So I'll just play this one and see what he does. Plays the attach, I might not go here, because if he blocks and I Hane, he has a nice wall here, so I probably won't be able to get out. So if he plays here, I might just Hane connect, and then he has some Aji to worry about. Uh, this one, if I push, he goes here, here. It doesn't do much, so we'll just go ahead and Hane and connect. He makes our corner bigger and Sensei, and then he has to add a move here. Then there's still some Aji here later he has to worry about. And if he connects here, I probably just play here for in game, maybe here first. Yeah, I like this one. And if he blocks, yeah, then he just almost made almost no points here. And then when we go here, we make extra points. If he Hanes, we can Hane back. And then we're reducing this as well. Yep, just extend, make sure we're nice and strong. He now has a cutting point here, so he has to come back and either push and connect or connect. He does this one. I'm not sure why this one It feels a bit small. I'm probably just going to play here. If he goes here, I play here. And then I get at least a few points here. And I stay connected. 
So if I don't play here, it feels like he can aim at a push or do some other things, but not sure. And he's already alive at the top, so it doesn't seem that important to uh, prevent this eye anymore. And it still feels like he has to go back here, because if I go here and capture, like all of his points here are just gone. And then still some Aji over here. Okay, so he does play that one, but still it's a ladder, so he still has to connect somehow. Maybe this one. So I can't do this one, because he can Atari. And if I capture, he Ataris, I connect. He goes here, and then he kind of just pushes and captures. So I do have to uh, push back. But again, I think he has to come back and play here. It's very big. Okay, so he does that one. This is all pretty strong and connected now. So I kind of want to reduce this a little bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, shoulder hit. And this should all be connected. If he Ataris or captures a single stone, it's okay. So I'm reducing more here than what he would get here. So yeah, he does capture. Um, if I Tanuki, well, he captures, I go here. If he plays here, I push. I do have some weaknesses, so I'll go ahead and... Uh, Jump to connect, then keep my group connected. I guess he can go for a ko, maybe. Um, but if he goes here, I'm just going to connect. And then if he throws in, there's, there's some annoying things, but I don't think it'll change things too much. OK, so he plays end game. I'll go ahead and block. And we'll just do this one. Less uh, ko threats if there's a ko later over here. He goes there, of course, on a... He does prevent the monkey jump, but I still get this in Sente. And I'm almost tempted to play here. Because now that I have uh, this move here, maybe I could jump in and do something here, but it looks difficult. But I also don't like this Ko here. So I'm probably going to just try and play this in Sente first, and then I'll come back in Atari. And Hane. And this is one of his biggest areas, so it feels like for sure he has to defend it. And then I will go ahead and go here. I don't like him playing here, because then I have to connect, and then he has a ko. And this is probably too big to give up, so I would have to connect, and then maybe he captures, and then I have to connect, and then there's just a bunch of uh, weaknesses here. Okay, so he does this one. I'll go ahead and connect. He can go here, make a few points. But now that this is stronger, it feels like maybe there's a bit more Aji here. Not sure why this one. If I push here, he pushes, he can cut, but I will capture first. So I can go here, which is now destroying all the points he should have made here. And he has to come back and connect. And I can even push through once. And then connect. And I'll go with the bamboo, because it feels like it's threatening this cut a little bit more. Because if I go here, he hanes this way, I just pull back, and then there's a cut here. Or on the other side. Although there is a peep here, so it's hard to say if it works. So he tries to defend it. Seems good. Um, now I think I'm going to try and reduce this area a little bit more. Because I think we played all the uh, big moves on the sides. Uh, though this is pretty big too. I think I'll play here. He's threatening to connect under is pretty big, and he can also play here in Sente, and then there's... Some Aji there that I have to worry about. Um, but if he lets me push here, that also seems pretty big. But him blocking here doesn't really do much for him. So maybe he can block over here. Okay, he connects. So I think he's aiming at this Atari and then playing here. Hmm, not sure if that's worth it. So if he Ataris, I connect. He pushes, I go here, which is Atari. And it's not Sente, and I'll shoot Capture. So I don't think that really hurts me. Uh, even if he like peeps here first, I should just have more liberties. So I think I'll go ahead and push and reduce points here. And then there's still an Atari here, where I can maybe cut this off, which again doesn't have two eyes. Okay, so he does cut. So he's aiming at this cut. So I think I'll just go ahead and defend it. And I do think he has to play here. Okay, so he peeps first, okay. We'll block. So he can do all these moves, but eventually he has to come back here on Alf Sente. And then there's still moves like this, where I can peep and maybe capture this. Okay, he does that one. We'll go ahead and connect. So he's trying to get as many points as possible here before he uh, comes back and defends. 
I think I'll go ahead and turn here, threatening to capture this and also reduce his points here. Okay, he goes there. So I do have some Aji in the corner, but I don't think it's uh, that dangerous. So I'll go ahead and Atari here. Because anytime he plays here, if he plays here, I can block here for free because I can threaten to cut. And if he plays here first, then I just defend. So he does block. And I'll just connect. He probably has to connect. Okay, and he never blocked here, so I kind of like playing here. Make a few extra points, stay connected. And I don't really see anything else that's uh, really big to play. Okay, he goes there. I'll just connect under. This is all connected, so even if he cuts here, I just Atari and I'm fine. But I got to make uh, points here that I uh, wouldn't have made before. Okay, so he peeps here, so he's trying to cut me off. But I think as long as I uh, stay connected, uh, it should be okay. So I'll go ahead and turn here. Then at least I'm aiming at like an Atari and cutting this off. And if I just played this one, it feels like he can just Tanuki. I'm not sure why this one. So if I go here, he connects, I can turn here, here, it's cut off. But he can push here, I go here. And if he push out, I go here. So I think I want to play this one. So I'm threatening to capture these. And if he blocks, then I can play this one. He connects, I can cut these off. And then when he pushes, I connect. And then when I go here, I have two ways to connect. So this is dead. Um, so when I play here, he probably has to just connect like this. And let me capture the single stone. And even like this is pretty simple because I can push through and still cut here. Okay, so he does that one. I don't think I misread here. I think I was still winning by a at least around 10 points before this. So after killing this, I should be um, way ahead. Because even if he can like cut here and Atari here, I just push through, sacrifice the two stones, stay connected. And if this is dead, then that's good enough. Yep. And then I can just connect and block. Even if he pushes, he goes here, I connect, he can cut. Mm, maybe this doesn't work. Yep, I think I misread a little bit. I think if I have this liberty, it works. But I think now, yeah, I think I misread. So if I go here, he goes here. I have to connect here, but it's probably still worth it because then I can push through, push again, push here. And there's lots of Aji with this group. And I don't think I really lost anything here. When I play here, I go here. He has to capture. And later on, this is Sente. And then I also get to push through here. So. Missed red, but it, it still works out, I think. Yep, push. Okay, now I push. He has to extend here. I get to go again. And maybe I can capture these. Or at least reduce his corner a lot. Um, if I do this one, he goes here, so it doesn't quite work. But if I go here and he cuts, I can go here. And this is all kind of cut off too, so there is a chance this whole thing could die as well. But at the very least, I got to reduce this corner a lot. Not sure what a good move. It feels like maybe he has to play at this one. But then I can push and connect. Uh, I guess this one works too. If I go here, he cuts. I go down. So yeah, I can push once more. But after this one, I think I do have to connect. It's one, two, three, four. He hanes here, here. Actually, it might work. <laughs> Let me see. One. I reduce it enough. It's safe. It looks like it might be a ko there, but I don't think I need a ko. Because I reduced this corner a lot in Sensei. Not sure where to play next. Pretty far ahead, so I think I'm just going to defend my corner. Just get rid of all uh, risk, and uh, I should just be ahead. Okay, so he pushes. We'll block. He can still do this squeeze, or if I go here, connect, he goes here, 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 and then eventually I have to capture, and then he connect again, which is a few points for him. Uh, but he does this one first, so I'll go ahead and turn to stop that. Don't want to let him connect under, because that's a lot of points. So I'll go ahead and block here. And he has to be careful, because if he doesn't block here now, I can throw in 
play here, he has to capture, I throw in again, he has to capture, then I Atari. So he has to play here now. Or I guess I can play here, he connects, I connect, and he loses the points. He plays this one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do this. This one also is probably sent it, because I could play here and then get at least a co. Uh, I think he misread here. See, I can play here and throw in. And then if he connects, I go here and it's a snapback. He goes here, I Atari, he can't connect on both sides. So yeah, this just dies. Okay, and he resigns. So this was a bit peaceful for a three dawn game, I think. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Uh, hopefully there was some stuff that was interesting. And uh, I'd like to uh, thank all my Patreons. And I really appreciate the support. And I will see you all next time.